Hello everyone and welcome back to Taito Ecology and we are here in Fernville today. So this is our rainforest biodome and it is looking beautiful as usual. Just look at how tall everything is. All of our trees seem to be doing very, very well, including the Kapok tree in the distance over there. I really want to go over and check out how that one's doing. And look at our ferns. Are they flowering? We need to figure out if our ferns are flowering. Yes, they are. Oh man, they're so pretty. Look at the little fiddlehead tops. And these little spiral pieces are usually called the fiddlehead on ferns. But I think everything is more or less doing okay. But to be honest, I'm looking around and it looks kind of empty. So I haven't checked how the past three months have gone with our biodome just yet. So let's take a little peek. And we have dead frogs. <gasps> All zones, a group of fish populate. The fish are low. Can I repopulate? Oh, wow, you can repopulate the fish. Who's eating the fish? Can I see fish? That's a mushroom. That's a fern. So apparently we have fish in the waters, which is pretty darn exciting. So all of the zones were missing fish. Is, are there more fish over here? The capybaras weren't eating the fish, were they? <gasps> Look at all of our snoozing capybaras. They're so cute. Oh, wait, that's a marsh deer. What are you doing here? You're not a capybara. That's a capybara. They're just, they're all taking a nap under the strangler fig leaves over here. And let's see, it looks like we've got several plants over there. So it looks like the marsh deer and a whole bunch of the capybaras are just having a nice snooze. It looks like the orchids have been spreading over here, but I'm noting a significant lack of small animals, you guys. So let's go ahead and back out, double check everything. <gasps> a group of marsh deer has died. I missed that. All right, and the collared peccaries are experiencing low population. Let's see, frogs. <gasps> Yellow tortoises are dead. Oh my goodness, look at everything. Everything is like dying. What has happened? Okay, let's back out and see what we can see from up here. In fact, I think we can even go into the zone modes. Can I look at anything like at the map other than I think we can only look at it. Let's see. Let's turn on. Can I turn on all? All right. So can I turn everything on? Is that something I can do? All right. Let's turn mushrooms off and the earthworms seem to be doing pretty good. Millipedes seem to be a little bit low. So Kodamundi. Can I turn on? All right. Let me see if I can back up. Return. Ah, there we go. All right. So I only have one population of yellowfoot tortoises left. I wonder what on earth happened to all my other populations. I don't think we need to look at the plants at the moment. Where are our ants? Let's get a good view. We have lots and lots of ants. So I wonder why... Okay, how's our armadillo population doing? We have one little armadillo population. We have one little... One frog population hanging in there? What on earth is all of that about? So how many capybara? I've got two po capybara populations. The uh, collar peccary is kind of holding in there. I still have three ocelot populations. What about my marsh deer? Okay, the marsh deer are surviving down here. I think that's because they're pretty far from the jaguars. All right, well, who knows the mysteries of how we have gotten to where we are, you guys. But the point is we need to start plunking animals down and hopefully getting the balance back up so we can continue seeing everybody fruit and flower. Right now, the Amazon flame tree is flowering and it has nobody to eat it. So we keep losing these little ones, the agouti. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's two juveniles left. <laughs> We keep losing those little guys. All right, let's try again. We're going to get some frogs put down. And maybe if we put down some frogs and then has anything spread over here? It doesn't look like anything has really spread over here. The ferns are still where they were. Pretty sure none of the plants have really spread. It looks like they're still pretty contained where they used to be. How are the ocelots doing? They're doing good. They're not going to reproduce for a very, very long time. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I really thought we would get... How is our little tortoises doing? There's only four of them left. I wonder who is eating them. We might keep an eye on the tortoises and we'll see if we can pinpoint who is consuming all of them. I think we'll move the frogs over here because then that'll put them next to a couple ant populations. And I might even put down some more ants. I kind of want to put down another, another little insectivore. So what happens if I put an armadillo over here? So we kind of need to scale it back again, you guys. We need to put down our pollinators. Let's get some more insects down for our insectivores to eat. Um, I'll get a few more ant populations down because when those frogs decide to have babies, things can get a little out of hand pretty quickly. 
And then I kind of want to check what the um, achievements for this biodome actually are so we can see what we're going to aim for. So let's see, yeah, we have babies. And what's something we haven't done? The mule deer, the marsh deer. Have a marsh deer die of old age. So looks like we need to have like a safe haven for the marsh deer where they can be out of the way. This is also as Fernville, our oldest biodome. So if we can maintain it for 10 years, so I think it needs like seven more years. <laughs> oh my goodness, then we'll be able to get the decade achievement, which would be pretty cool. Then there's Constant Gardener. That's going to be in the desert, I believe. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. All right, you know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to see what is the max on the Jaguar population we could potentially have. But we lost a lot of the Tapirs. So, hmm. Let's try putting... Hey, who are you? Whoops, I did not want to put Tapirs like down in the middle. It's a colored background. <laughs> He's run for it. He's escaped into the wild edges. An ocelot is right behind him. Herbivores eat the mushrooms. Uh, there's fish in here. Thank goodness. The peccary, he's swimming out to the sea. He sees the far distant misty edges and he's trying to find a safe haven. Who are you guys? Well, let's check out who's coming over here. Alright, we've got- oh, we've got somebody who's very hungry. Well, that's what you get for going super far away, little capybara. So let's see what he wants. Let's see, leaves, fruit, bark, roots, and other plant matter. So let's put down some plants for him. So let's start making this into maybe an herbivore haven. How about we start there? Instead of throwing down some of the big predators, let's see how big the populations of some of the mid-level herbivores we can get. Um, like, let's get more Kipibera, Kodamundi. Let's try getting the peccaries. Let's really start having a bit of a population boom. And then we'll have some jaguars and cougars move in and see what we can manage. So we haven't we've kind of tried doing lots of the little guys and we've tried doing lots of the big guys so it would be an interesting twist on things to sort of do lots of the mid-level guys so we're going for lots of pigs we want lots of jungle pigs basically peccaries everywhere that's our goal so let's figure out how we can make him happy there's our swimming guy i wish i could name him because he's just amazing so they are generally herbivores and are even capable of eating tough spiny plants like agave. That's right, because you can find these guys in the desert biodome as well. Uh, they also eat very small animals like snakes and birds. And so let's see. Anything else I need to put down? Hmm. Reproduction. No, I think we just need to make sure there's plenty of things for them to eat. Is he coming over here to eat? All right, how about we do this? We'll put down some more foods. Um, put some ferns over here to you. And then we'll see what the little guy decides to snack on, like some pineapple. Pineapple is always a very popular thing for the different animals of the biodomes to snack on. Look at my flowering ferns. They're not wasting any time. Hey, are you coming over here to eat? Apparently not. All right, what about if I put a papaya plant down? So we're trying to make a paradise for jungle pigs. That's our goal. Um, a strangler fig? Maybe. If I could get- ooh, yeah, I would put a strangler fig over the water. Are you kidding? That would be so cool. Alright, little peccary, you hang in there. I'm trying to get this- this place totally lined up for ya. Alright, maybe I should put- yeah, the kapok tree way over here. Strangler fig over here. Ah, oh, so neat! Alright, let's go ahead and buy more of the energy. Maybe a few more strangler figs. I don't often see many strangler figs. Uh, and this side, so that would be a good thing to add in. Okay, what are you gonna eat, little guy? Because you're you're my like test pig, not my test guinea pig. You're literally my test pig. So we're gonna feed him up and see what he wants. Maybe some more pineapple. Maybe another palm tree. I don't think I have one of these palm trees yet, so this might be a good one. Oh yeah, we got some money. All right. Ooh, look at those shadows. Very pretty. Oh, hey, he ate something. What did you do that? Did you come over? You can't eat a fish. Don't eat the fish. What did you eat? Did he eat like... When did he eat? It doesn't look like he nibbled on the orchid. He must have just like hit a glancing blow on one of these pineapples or something like that. That's interesting. All right. Well, at least I know the pineapples are helping. So we can probably tuck some more of them down here and there. Oh, and then we need to start getting to work on removing all of this, of course. So let's throw down some mushrooms and then some earthworms and then some millipedes. And then, yeah, like I said, we'll just focus on getting, like, lots of the little pigus 
uh, plunked down and get them spreading about. And when we can run around and we can go, oh my goodness, look at how many pigs there are, then that's when we will start adding in some of our bigger predators. So let's see what it takes to support a large population of collar peccaries. And then also, oh, a group of agachis has died. I'm losing my mid-levels. So we'll kind of have like a couple island groups. So this is gonna be way overdoing it a bit, but that's kind of the fun of, of experimenting with this. And then I do want a group of tapirs that isn't going to just kill over a dead in two seconds. So let's put them down and see what they need too. All right, where are you, my buddies? Look at all of our island pigs. Oh my goodness, arrival of the island pigs. The pig island. Hello, everybody. How you doing? They seem to be doing pretty good. All right, we'll, we'll get you guys settled in. There's some nice mushrooms for you to nibble on. Um, and I'll get you some more food. So let's see. And what do these guys want? Let's see. That's reproduction. Leaves, roots, and fruits. <laughs> they're pretty They're pretty simple. They, got, they know what they want. So I guess we'll get like a little papaya area set up. Maybe more strangler figs for the island. And this is going to be their little island. Another group has died. <gasps> Who's preying on them? We'll have to go see. We'll have to see if we can ever balance that out or if it's just like doomed forever. All right, maybe some zebra plants from one of our reports that we got from the last time that we had like the little update thing pop up. Um, we actually have really good diversity in our animals, but we're very low on diversity when it comes to our plants, it turns out. And I think on this island, we're going to mostly put like little low lying plants other than like a strangler fig or two. Um, I think we're going to stick to like the zebra plants and we'll see if that can support the population too. So we'll stick to like pineapple and zebra, zebra plants. Who has the low population? In what zone? So in zone three, the agoutis have died. Oh my gosh. How is that big population doing? You guys, I totally forgot about that. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I can go this way. It's my biodome. I can go wherever I want. It's so pretty in here. It really is so pretty in here. There we go. Fernville, you're looking good, though a little bit low on like the jungle mice, basically. <laughs> though that's okay, because poor not Kansas, I think might be officially dead in the water. Uh, there's our jaguar. How are you doing, by the way? Now, where are you headed? Jaguars are built for strength, not speed. Though they can run very quickly for short distances, they usually lie in wait for their prey, then leap out of hiding to take them by surprise. The jaguar usually kills its prey by biting the back of the neck or skull, instantly killing it. Even crocodiles are no match for the jaguar if they aren't expecting an attack. And that's true, I actually watched a video that I think it's just one of those random videos you stumble on when you're like checking how mom's doing on Facebook. And it was a video where this jaguar is just walking along a riverbank and then it jumps into the water and comes out with like a, a caiman or a crocodile and it just climbs out and it won the fight. It was a smaller crocodile, but still almost as long as the jaguar was. And it just walked off and had its meal and my jaw was just on the floor. Up, 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 up. I saw that really excited keepy bear and I thought that we had, um, we had a, a little finished, little finished giant rodent over there, but no, our jaguar is still looking for some food. And actually, a lot of you guys tell me that you love it when we just kind of go slow and follow some of the predators to see where they are headed and just see what they're going to be looking for. So we'll go ahead and do that. I think I want to put down some more agouti over here, but I also want to put in like some collared peccaries, to be honest. Hmm. I don't know. Let's, let's go ahead and try it out. Let's see if I throw a population or two of them over here. Is that maybe all that we need is just to have more populations of these guys to help balance everything out? Well, we'll see. It really is just kind of like a giant experiment of like picking up and throwing down tons of animals and crossing our fingers that they won't all die off at once. All right, more pineapples, maybe a palm tree. I'm trying to keep an eye on that jaguar over here. He's headed over to like this little cluster of mushrooms. Very nice, I totally approve. I really like mushrooms. Zebra plant, and then maybe some more orchids over here. I have plenty, oh, look at him. Oh, they're so pretty. Wait. Whoa! Why is the detritus level like off the charts? Zebra plant! What's going on? What is this? Not pollinated, it's blooming. I don't understand. How, what have I aired? How have I how have I messed up so badly? Um, earthworms? <laughs> earthworms everywhere? There you go. You have your very own earthworm pile. Are you happy now? <gasps> They're so mad! Is that that's not normal? Come on, zebra plants! 
Come on, don't be that way. Here, have some more earthworms. Uh, come on, don't be this way. Here, you want some millipedes? Maybe they want some millipedes. I'll give them the, their own another pile of mushrooms. We'll have to see if that helps. All right, where are you going, my friend? Don't mind me, you guys. I'm still just trying to find, like, follow and find this jaguar. And we're just kind of, like, going down the line, leaving pollinators. I feel like some sort of, some sort of, like, scientist cross. Oh, here we go. A goatee territory. And it looks like those two juveniles managed to grow up, or we're in a new goatee territory. Man, there's not many of them left. I wonder if we need to add in. Is that the other jaguar we over there? All right, you're still hungry. Run, little ones! Up, 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 up. I think we're on a hunt. Oh, is it is it over? He has so many options. And it's over. Sorry, little guy. So this is interesting that the jag- But Jaguar! Or not? Are you still alive or are you dead? It's dead. <laughs> so that's interesting. So the Jaguar just made a kill. It's totally full. Now it's coming over to sleep. It's one year, nine weeks old. Okay, oh, and then we have another- Oh, there we go. The peccary finally finished eating from this Amazon flame fruit tree. So it seems like the jaguars prefer going for the small, easy meals of these guys. Because that was one of the two remaining agotis that we have. So, uh, alright. That's what's happened in that population. Hmm. Alright, Konamuni. Oh, this Konamuni population is about to be wiped out. What about you guys? They only have like two juveniles. So how many do you add? We're just going to have to have like the agoti everywhere, I guess. Does that mean they only go for like... They only, only, only go for the smallest of the, the herbivores first to eat? Or will they go for the bigger guys? Let's put a little group down here. And then we're just going to cross our fingers and see. <coughs> Meanwhile, we have pigus running around everywhere. All right. Well, let's finish up getting Pig Island kind of completed. And then we'll just sit back, relax, and eventually release <laughs> a cougar to roam this side of the area. And then we'll see how many jaguars we get. Because don't forget, you guys, as time goes on, when they have the juveniles, then you'll get populations that will start branching off from uh, like their parent group. And that's what happened to us when we had all of the mice overrun everything. After you have the juvenile animals, they'll eventually grow up and then their group will split apart and I had never seen that before the mice started doing it and by the time I saw the mice do it we were kind of in big trouble because <laughs> there were so many of them we couldn't we couldn't do anything about it we were doomed we were doomed all right come on ferns there we go all right let's see how many ferns I can stick on pigu island peccary island and then we'll see if we can convince the peccaries to reproduce. How long will it take? So it's going to be about a year before my peccaries are going to have some little babies. And we'll have to see if the populations can survive that long. Who are you? Oh, that's a mushroom. I thought somehow one of the little goatees had already managed to like swim his way onto peccary island. All right. We'll cover this with some orchids as well. Basically just a bunch of the low-lying things. I'm not sure what all they will eat. Um, I'm thinking oh, 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 oh I'm thinking somebody is eating some ferns right there so I think the ferns are a good bet but you're a tapir you're not supposed to be over here this is peccary island shoo all right I'm gonna get a few of these flame bushes put up here maybe some zebra plants tucked into various corners and is this a peccary yeah he's a peccary he's hungry he has plenty of food if he would just like scooch onto his island. Look at this beautiful island. I have a tapir infestation on Peccary Island. That wasn't in the plans. Alright, we'll put some ferns down. Do the ferns spread the way the grass does? Because I'm feeling like they don't. But we'll leave it there to see. <gasps> There's a peccary! Alright, let's go see what he eats. There's a smorgasbord of food. A total buffet. He just chomped down an entire pineapple! <gasps> My pineapples! There's like... They're not even getting a chance! <laughs> Wow! Okay, well now I know what they eat. Pineapples! I need pineapples everywhere. Do the pineapples spread on their own? That would be so cool if they did. Alright, so let me put down pineapples. Leafy plants. We're gonna just cover this island in pineapples. So that'll be the thing we kind of keep an eye on, is how quickly the pineapples spread. But yeah, so that's that, you guys. That's gonna be kind of interesting. We have our Peccary Island prepared. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on things. I don't want to replenish my goatees for a little while because I want to see if the jaguars will go for it. Well, they definitely go for the mid-level 
pre or the mid-level herbivores because they have finished off my poor Kodamundi. Is they're they're gone. So I'm not sure if we're gonna have any more luck with those guys in the future. Right, let's put a few more down here. No, I want more pineapple. Stop making me have to wait. I don't want to wait and be patient on my pineapple. And we'll have to see. This is what it looks like now. And then we'll just have to come back and we'll have to see how much more coated in pineapple this place is going to become. And I think I kind of want to overdo it a little bit on the peccary. So let's go ahead and snag one more population of them. Not the marsh deer. All right, there you go. I'm going to put these guys right there because they're a large herbivore. And then whoop. How are you guys doing? All right, we've got Pigu Island starting. Peccary Island. We're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna see if this is gonna gonna be a useful thing. We're gonna see if this is going to start introducing like a lot of food for our jaguars. I would love to see what the max number of jaguars we can get supported in our biome is going to be. And we'll have to come back and we'll have to see if our poor little, <laughs> we'll have to see if our poor, um, poor pineapple piles, piles of pineapple over here are even going to be able to survive the invasion here on Peccary Island. All right, it's actually kind of nice. Look at all of these guys. The Tapirs know what's up. They're just resting in the shade. But all right, you guys. So that's how Fernville is doing so far. We're gonna have to cross our fingers and see. Um, and then, you know, we might try doing something new where you guys can, okay, let's try this. Tell me one of your favorite facts about the animals or about the rainforest in general. And I'll pick someone at random and you can tell me uh, five things to add in. So you can tell me five things you feel should be added in here. Could be five piles of ants. It could be five certain trees. It could be um, like five jaguars if you want, I guess. And we'll start kind of just, well, maybe not with this biome. Hang on to that thought. We'll start doing things with maybe another biome so that we can kind of just let you guys take control and we'll figure out what to add in based off of your suggestions and do it completely at random. I'll just use a random generator and share your favorite fact. So we'll do that in the future, but Fernville is my baby because it's my first biodome so I probably won't do that with it just yet and what did you eat there goes a peccary <laughs> well I think we have our answer about um how the jaguar population likes the peccaries hmm gonna have to keep an eye on that gonna have to keep an eye on that indeed but all right so next time we are going to be going and visiting not kansas once again and i'm pretty darn nervous because i'm not even sure if not kansas will load if it does not we will start a new a grassland and then i think we will start doing the kind of interactive thing where we'll just select like a suggestion at random throw it in there and we'll see how it does so all right keep your ears peeled for that and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye